Hi, my name is Abby, and I am here to read you a book called Finding Christmas, written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Michael Marchenko. Julie always found her Christmas presents. One year, she found them in the basement. One year, she found them in the bathroom. One year, she found them in the garage. But this Christmas, Julie began to wonder if she was getting any presents from her family at all. She had looked and looked and looked and looked and found nothing. On Christmas Eve, Julie decided to give it one last try. She went down into the basement and pushed her way through spider webs. No presents. She went into the bathroom and pulled out all the towels. No presents. She went into her parents' bedroom and took out all of the clothes out from all of the drawers and all of the clothes out from all the closets. No presents. She moved everything out of the garage and looked underneath the car and behind the lawnmower. No presents. She called her friend who lived across the street and said, Denise, Denise, I have looked all over my house. There's nothing here. It's Christmas Eve and there's no presents. Not at all. No presents. Denise said, stop, stop. I'm looking over at your house and guess what I see on the roof. I know, said Julie, there's a Santa Claus with a sleigh. My mom and dad put it up this year. Isn't it neat? Yes, it is neat, said Denise. And what is in the back of the sleigh on the top of your roof? A large box, said Julie. Yes, said Denise. And what do you think is in the box? Of course, said Julie. They hid the presents on the roof. So Julie went to bed early and then very quietly, she climbed up onto the roof and she opened the top of the box and looked in. box was full of presents. Julie pulled herself up and fell in. The top closed and she could not get out. She yelled, Denise! But Denise had already gone to bed. Julie yelled, Daddy! But her dad was busy decorating the tree. She yelled, Mommy! But her mom was busy wrapping one last Christmas present for her dad. She yelled, Andrew! But her brother was putting out a plate of cookies for Santa. Julie even yelled, Taya! But her sister had gone to sleep on the couch. There was no way to get out. So Julia decided to take a nap. She laid down in the middle of the presents, wrapped herself in a blanket, and went to sleep. Very late that night, Julie's mom and dad went up onto the roof, got the box, and took it inside. Ha! said Julie's dad. Julie never saw any Christmas presents this time. She doesn't know what she's getting. Yes, said Julie's mom. 
He definitely fooled her this time. They reached the, into the box and brought out a bicycle. This is a great present for Andrew, said Julie's dad. They reached into the box and brought her some markers. This is a great present for Julie, said her mom. They reached into the box and brought out some building blocks. This is a great present for Taya, said her dad. And then they reached into the box and brought out Julie, fast asleep. Look at this! said Julie's dad. It's a little girl. Who's getting a little girl? I didn't get anyone a little girl, said Julie's well, mom. Well, it looks like a very nice little girl and I want it for my Christmas present, said her dad. It looks like a very nice little girl to me too and I want it for my Christmas present said her mom. No, said her dad. I saw it first, and it's going to be my Christmas present. No, said her mom. It's a girl, and I'm a girl, so it should belong to me. Then Julie woke up. Wait a minute, she said. I belong to both of you. Right, said her mom and dad. Then they gave her kisses and hugs and wrapped her up and put her underneath the Christmas tree with a label that said, to mommy and daddy. On Christmas morning, Andrew and Ty found Julie wrapped up underneath the tree. So Andrew wrapped himself up and went under the tree and Ty wrapped herself up and went under the tree. Then their parents finally woke up and the kids yelled, Merry Christmas. And everyone agreed that this was the best Christmas ever. The end. I hope you have enjoyed this book and Merry Christmas.